A beautiful night for baseball here in the Gateway City. Bush Stadium is the scene as the Cardinals play host to the Washington Nationals. Game two of this three-game series. Five more to go in the regular season. And last night, to begin the final homestand of this season, it was Adam Wainwright picking up a victory and showing why he is the ace of the staff here in St. Louis. Carlos Beltran broke open a 2-2 game with this blast into right field. It had been 24 games since Carlos had gone deep. That proved to be the game winner, and now that magic number for the National League leader in the Central Division is down to four here in St. Louis. And welcome to Cardinals Baseball with my partner tonight, Rick Horton. I'm Dan McLaughlin. Delighted to have you with us. Remember, day baseball tomorrow. We've got the action here tonight, and the Cardinals and Mike Matheny have made a point to push towards the end. We certainly saw that last night. Well, they pushed with Adam Wainwright as the starter. Excellent game for Wainwright, but I really liked what the young guns did at the end of the game. Martinez, Segrist, and Rosenthal were outstanding in the eighth and ninth innings, and we'll see if those guys can continue this going forward. We've had a lot of good games of late, Dan. It must be September. Yeah, and speaking of good pitching, we've got a great matchup here this evening. The lefty Gio Gonzalez has been very tough on the road against the youngster Michael Walker. A look at those two next. Beautiful night here in St. Louis. Glad that you're with us, along with Rick Horton. I'm Dan McLaughlin. Big start for Michael Waka. The young right-hander is 3-1. and one. A live look at Waka getting loose in the pen. He had trouble getting the ball up in the zone against Colorado in his last start. He gave up 12 hits in Denver. But overall, the body of work has been good for the young right-hander. Gio Gonzalez getting the start on the other side of the lefty. And speaking of the young pitchers, how good is this bullpen 
Ben of St. Louis. Well, the rookies have been great overall. The Cardinals have used 20 of them, but you've got these three guys throwing 95 plus in the eighth and ninth innings. Very good here last night, and they're going to be important down the stretch. Seagrass saw Bryce Harper at the end of the game last night. Getting the final two outs also in the ninth was Trevor Rosenthal. A look at Harper when we come back. Waka Harper just 20 years and 11 months of age 22 year old Michael Waka is a star of the future for the Cardinals Bryce Harper a five tool player for the Nationals he's playing left field now but he can play center and right and has a cannon 13 outfield assists for Harper and he can run the ball down as well we know about his offense plenty of power 20 home runs on the season in the 18 games where he's homered, the Nationals have won 15 of those games, but he's also a gap hitter, a very, very solid player who is the youngest all-star in the history of baseball this year in 2013. Harper and Waka on display, inching forward to that first pitch on Fox Sports Midwest.
last five years they made it to the playoffs. But another trip to the postseason isn't enough. Another wild card play-in game isn't enough. Another pennant, you guessed, isn't enough. This Cardinals club has one goal, but it's one game at a time for St. Louis. It starts tonight against Washington. A year ago, Michael Walkup was entering his first fall of professional baseball. Tonight, he'll lead one of the most decorated teams towards another division title. First pitch, next on Fox Sports Midwest. Great times are waiting. Designate a driver. See your Mid America Chevy dealer or log on to stlchevy.com. Dobbs Tire and Auto Centers, number one for quality tires and expert auto service. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. And by Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake, just no equal. Let's turn to Rick Horton's Toyota keys to the game. Michael Waka is key number one as he takes the field and keeping the ball down is his main goal. His last time out, a lot of balls up in the zone and he I walked a few two games ago. Last time out, 12 hits again because the ball's up. And the second key, Dan, is for the Cardinals to just keep pushing. Yes, we know what the playoff teams are in the National League, but there's plenty to play for over these last five games. So five games to go. Washington officially eliminated. They can play spoiler. Their lineup, Denard Spann, Ryan Zimmerman, and Jason Worth. Followed by Bryce Harper, Ian Desmond, Adam LaRoche, Wilson Ramos, Anthony Rendon, and Gio Gonzalez hitting 093. Cardinals defense is brought to you by Dobbs Tire and Auto Centers. Robinson, Jay, and Beltron in the outfield. Freeze and Cosmo on the left side of the infield. It's Carpenter and Adams on the right side. Yachty behind the plate. Young Michael Waka, the Kia starter for the Cardinals. Start number nine for Michael Waka here tonight. Again, the Cardinals relying on their young guns. And it's interesting to me how front and center these young players have become. Shelby Miller in the rotation. The guys at the end of the bullpen who are all young. And now Michael Waka getting a start, Dan, with just five games to go. The Cardinals up by two. Critical start. But they're relying on this young guy and giving him the baseball. Back to back seasons for Mike Matheny and guiding the Cardinals in his first two years to the postseason. Will they be the NL Central champs? You mentioned it as a key to your game. 
And the bottom line is keep pushing. And on the other side, such a disappointing year for Davey Johnson. He was fighting back tears and meeting with the media following the game last night, knowing that it has come to a close here in 2013. Well, he announced a long time ago that this would be his last year, a two-time manager of the year, including last year when the Nationals really came on the scene. They expected so much more from them. The Cardinals' magic number is now at four. Denard Spann will lead it off, fresh off a 29-game hitting streak that was snapped last Thursday against Miami. And since that time, he's picked up five base hits, five for 16, and the average at 281 with four home runs and 47 driven in. A real key to tonight as well, get the ball down. Michael Walker, as we talked about the team pushing, but as you said in your keys to the game, you have to get the ball down. That was not the case against Colorado. Slowly hit to short, Cosmo, one away. It's interesting you think about getting the ball down and you say where does that start Dan? I mean is it just a mental thing is it a physical thing and and what's interesting is in the pitching mechanics you actually have to stay back a little bit longer in your mechanics to throw downhill walk a six foot six there's no reason he shouldn't be on top and throw downhill and get the ball down but when you get out a little bit in front of your body your arm drags just a little bit and, and you end up leaving the ball up in the zone as he did right there just a little bit out in front and his arm drag just I'm talking about an iota and that's the difference between it being up in the zone and knee high. Brian Zimmerman 309 average 11 home runs in September. Brian. That's a strike on the outside corner. One ball one strike. Future is so bright though for Michael Waka. To think that it was just. Uh, about a month and a half ago that he was in the minor leagues. And Zimmerman. Slices one down the right field line and that'll find the seats and then you take it back about a year and a half ago He's pitching in college very quick rise for Waka His spring training was really what set him apart and many Cardinal players scouts anybody in spring training would have said Walker was the best player on the team And yes, it's just spring training, but he went to triple-a was five and three with an era of 2.6 So he's earned this Swing and a miss and there's that changeup. So good for Michael Waka, arguably his best pitch. I would say for sure it's his best pitch when it's right. Good quick arm motion, but the ball just dies at the last second, and Zimmerman swings over it. Here's Jason Worth, a 318 average, 24 home runs, 79 RBIs. We highlighted in our open the young players in this game that are going to face off Harper and Waka, but the two key players to watch out for because they're both hot are Ryan Zimmerman, who just struck out, and this guy, Jason Worth. And a high strike catches the inside corner. The changeup gets so much attention, but then you think about it, this guy's throwing 95 miles an hour. That gets overlooked. Hard thrower. Breaking ball is still a work in progress. Jason's stepfather, Dennis Worth, was up in the booth visiting with us not that long ago and former teammate, my minor leaguer in the Cardinals for a couple of years. He was a catcher. This guy's a player. Jason Worth can flat out play. He's had a very good career with the Dodgers, Phillies. And now Washington. Freeze. Nice play to his left. And a 1 2 3 inning to start the night for Michael Walker.
We are your home of the Cardinals, Fox Sports Midwest. And a look at the St. Louis lineup. What a season it's been for Matt Carpenter. He'll lead it off. Then Robinson, Beltron, Adams, Molina, Freeze, Jay, Cosma, Waka. Let's go around the horn. Presented by Dobbs Tired Auto Centers. Harper, Span, and Worth. Very good arms in that outfield for Washington. Zimmerman and Desmond on the left side. Rendon, LaRoche on the right side of the infield. Ramos is behind the plate. Tough lefty. Very good on the road. Gio Gonzalez. He's also been durable over 30 starts four years in a row. And he's been a career winner at 70 and 47. He's faced the Cardinals just one time in the regular season. And he put up nothing but zeros. 14 strikeouts shy of 200. Hit 207 last season. And the first D.C.-based pitcher with 200-plus strikeouts since Walter Johnson back in 1960. Walter Johnson. I'd say that's a pretty good year. I would say. Speaks a little bit to baseball going in and out of Washington, D.C. I'm glad that it's back there again. It's always fun to go visit D.C. once a year and see the Nationals play there. But Walter Johnson, one of the game's best of all time, would you say top five? Oh, That's yeah, up. for sure. Here's a one two. Breaking ball lifted out to left. And the catch is made by Harper. Carpenter Rick at 324 at the start of play tonight. You have Johnson of Atlanta at 327. Kid Dyer's in the driver's seat to win the batting championship of the Rockies. Michael Kid at 334. So with six days left in the season for some five games, you would think it's his to lose. Tough to catch him. Very tough. Here's Shane Robinson, no Matt Holiday in the lineup again tonight. So three consecutive games without Holiday. Pretty sure you've noticed this, Dan, but I'm going to point it out anyway. Gio Gonzalez is left-handed. I have noticed. I thought you had. Nothing gets by you, Danny. Won my game again tonight. By the way, Rick, that's Matt Holiday. I knew that, too, and that's actually a guy that you miss when there's a left-handed pitcher out there. He has been doing a lot of damage of late, unfortunately. Done some damage to his lower back, and he's sitting again. Liner out to left, and a diving catch. Bryce Harper in left field to take a hit away from Robinson. Leg and knee injuries, he's been bothered by those all season long. You can count, though, Bryce Harper is going to play all out. And it doesn't matter if he's playing in a park in Washington, which he's done with kids in the area, or in a major league game. And Harper's one of those rare athletes that is kind of is so graceful. He made that play actually look easier than it was. He went a long way to get that ball. I'm not sure every left fielder in the National League catches that baseball. I'm not saying it was the hardest play in the world, but he, but he got such a good jump, and he's so graceful. And he really moves not like a left fielder. He moves more like a center fielder. We forget he's a former catcher. This is well hit. Into left center. Span is back. Off the top of the wall. Beltron digging for second. And sliding in with a two-out double. A couple of feet away from making this a one-nothing lead. He's starting to heat up. He sure is. Powers that ball in the left center field. The bat to me seems to have gotten quicker all of a sudden for Carlos Beltran. It had been dragging for a while. Looked a little tired, but not very tired there. Smooth, graceful swing of Carlos Beltran, almost a home run. Rick, if you get into postseason play without the chance of having Alan Craig see live pitching, how do you sit this guy? That's one of the issues right now for the Cardinals. Matt Adams has been outstanding since the fourth of this month. That's when Craig was hurt in Cincinnati. Adam 
runs. Team high seven home runs in that time and 14 RBIs. Alan Craig is doing some things to simulate baseball activity, but it's not the same. And then you think about the intensity. Yeah. It, it goes to a different level in postseason play. Cardinals reported that one of the things he's doing to keep his arm in shape is he's sitting in a chair playing catch. And he's done that a number of times. And that, so it gets your arm used to the movements and you don't kind of get the cobwebs there and the atrophy. But clearly not the same. And swinging the bat without your lower half certainly is not the same. 2 1. Put it this way, I'm not worried about his throws. And a hitter, we've talked about this, a hitter to get his timing back is quicker than a pitcher to get his feel back. The pitcher may take a couple of bullpen sessions, a couple of rehab starts after an injury. It's slowly to the right side, and Adams is out. Gonzalez covering the bag at first. So the Cardinals strand a runner. Gonzalez, Adams, LaRoche, a close play at the bag at first. The Plaza Tire Service replay. Final weekend of the regular season begins Friday night. The cooler bag giveaway. Yachty poster on Saturday. Get a free ticket on Sunday. That's the Cubs weekend beginning this Friday. So here is Bryce Harper. 279 average, 20 home runs, 56 RBIs. Already a two time all star in his young career. You can picture a day when Bryce Harper and Michael Waka will be facing each other about 12 years from now, and we'll be saying, Dan, I'll be sitting right next to you. We won't move from right here, no. you and I. And we'll be Why saying, would well, we? Harper's uh, 32 for 106 against uh, Waka in his career. Remember back in. 2013 they squared off last week of the season and old vets they were just kids that's right you, you just expect them to be around a long time both of them they have, they have such a bright future ahead as long as they could stay away from injury I mean Rick that's the key I mean barring injury there's no reason to think that you aren't looking at two of the brightest stars in the game of baseball today Harper really a prodigy and a high fly ball lifted into left center John Jay calling for it. He's got it. Good start for up, four down. Ian Desmond will be the hitter.
And that pitch is taken in by Desmond for ball one. Hitting 285 with 20 home runs. He's a 2020 man for the second consecutive year. And he's driven in 80. The 1 1. Look at that sinking action on the changeup. Perfect changeup when the bottom drops out. And the movement is just in front of home plate. Wow, that's a pretty good pitch right there. Tough to take. Followed up with a changeup. Isn't that the difference, Rick, from the minor leagues, college baseball, to be able to throw deep into account your off-speed pitches? Yeah, it's one thing to have the pitch, and then you command it, and then you command it in all situations. That's the ultimate command. When you can throw it 3-2, you can throw 1-0. Back-to-back change-ups. Stays 2-2. Two and two. Mets leading Cincinnati 4 to 1. That's in the top of the fourth. Pittsburgh, 3 0 lead over Chicago at Wrigley. That's in the top of the second. Out of play. And a nice play made by a fan. The number we had picked out for the Cardinals a long time ago was 95 wins, thinking that that would be enough probably to win the Central Division. And I think that probably still on track. Reds and the Pirates will still play each other over the weekend. Second strikeout for Michael Walker. Want him to keep the ball down in the zone, but evidently he can get some outs up too. That one at the top of the zone, and, and again, when we mean up, the up you don't like is the belt high up. And occasionally you throw that running fastball up in the zone and getting the chase, and it's a pretty good complement to that change up down and away. You just can't throw it belt high. Here is LaRoche, Adam LaRoche with 20 home runs. You look at this lineup. Five different nationals with 20 or more home runs. Round ball that's pulled foul, nothing in two. A little buzz here at the ballpark about the fact that the Cardinals' magic number is at four, but people talking about playoff baseball. They're excited. That pitch was up, but he couldn't pull the trigger. Right down the middle. Back to back K's and three in two innings from Michael Walker.
Cardinals finish with in the regular season. We've got five more games. Cardinals are at 92. And there's your chances. Mike Matheny would love to win this outright. Have the club have a chance to celebrate. Most single season wins. Who could forget about that 2004 campaign? 105 wins, arguably, of this great run of teams. That might be the best. I would agree. Here's Yachty on the first pitch. Hits it to short and a couple of hops. High throw, but LaRoche makes the play. And there's one away. David Fries hitting 265, eight home runs, 59 RBIs. Keeping an eye on the American League and what's happening down the stretch there. Still a chance for many teams to get in because of the second wild card. An amazing aspect of this season for the Rangers. Rick, they are 15 and 2 against the Astros this year. One game above 500 against everybody else on their schedule. And we thought going into this season with the loss of Houston. It would really hurt the chances to get multiple teams in from the Central Division. And lo and behold, you have three teams that get in from the Central. There's a look at the wild card as Cleveland is above Texas by one. Kansas City still alive along with New York and Baltimore. Manny Machado done for the year. Vicious knee injury last night. With all the talk of Trout and Harper, who we see here tonight, Maybe the best of the bunch is playing third base for the Orioles, and that's Manny Machado. Didn't actually see his injury, but I know there was nasty, very kind of subdued crowd. And Buck Showalter talking about it after the game was just kind of beside himself. And as a good, talented player, nobody likes to see him get hurt like that. Nightly on Fox Sports Live, you can join Jay Onright. And Dan O'Toole, along with Donovan McNabb, Andy Roddick, Carissa Thompson, they'll bring you all the scores, news, highlights you need only on Fox Sports 1. And it was a routine play. Machado was just running up the first baseline and his knee locked. And when that happened, it was nasty. Max Leinwand, our outstanding post-game show producer, tells us that the latest word with Machado, no ACL or MCL damage. And they were thinking, worst-case scenario. I'm telling you, it was nasty. Here's a 2-0 pitch to John Jay. You'd have to say Baltimore and the Yankees probably are not realistic hopefuls for that wild card berth. Kansas City still in it though. Kansas City, Texas. They get pretty much have to win out. Desmond makes the play in a 1 2 3 inning for Gio Gonzalez.
third and there is no score. Let's check in with the one and only Jim Hayes. Well, somebody uh, cut off Jim's mic and did Ricky a favor. I wanted to listen to what Jim had to say. What's that Rick little button you have underneath your uh, desk there, Dan? Here's a ground ball that's hit to Cosma. Nicely done, Dan. Well, I find everything that Jim says to be informative, spot on, latest info. But uh, you and Jim were talking on the pregame show, and who was in during a break, and you were saying how much you did not want to hear from him tonight. So nice job. <laughs> You're projecting again, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Anthony Rendon. Live television, sometimes that happens. So we'll check in with Jim momentarily. It'll be worth the wait. That's out of play. And Michael Walker so far, Rick, very, very sharp. Yeah, he's been able to get the ball down in the zone, and really the equalizer is the changeup. We haven't seen much of the curveball yet, and it'll be interesting how much and when he incorporates that into what's working so far tonight. He's been fastball up, fastball down, changeup down. Swing and a miss and a strikeout. That's four tonight already for walk up. We talked about Rendon the first time we saw him being a little bit late on the good fastball, and that's what happened there. They busted him in. He's a good young talent, but he had to dial that one up a notch. Where does Michael Waka fit into the plans for postseason play? Ask me again in about four innings. Yeah. Pretty fluid situation, huh? Gio Gonzalez, healthy cut, swing and a miss. Well, I, I, honestly, I think right now he, he's in there somehow. And, and you could see him being a reliever. You could see him being a starter. I think the, the issue of starters two, three, and four for the Cardinals are pretty much up in the air right now. You know, you've got good choices. Nine up, nine down, five strikeouts. First time through the lineup for Michael Walkup. Cardinals baseball from downtown St. Louis is brought to you by Schnooks, your neighborhood hometown grocer. And go big at a participating Jack in the Box with Jack's really big chicken sandwich combos for only $3.99 plus tax. The 
Cardinals have the eighth place hitter to lead things off, and that is Pete Cosma, followed by Waka, and then Matt Carpenter. Dan, we have had some great games in September. As you look back at this 2013 season, we had a lot of games early on where the Cardinals won big and won early in games. And then when they lost, they lost. And there was not a lot of kind of close games, close, exciting games, really all season long, big moments. But that's starting to build here in September. I think the fans are starting to react to that. The buzz you're talking about is really something that's kind of been up a bit here at the ballpark and plenty of good baseball ahead and I'm guessing we're going to have some big moments in the next couple of weeks. Nice piece done by uh, Brad Strobinger our pregame show producer. The top moments in postseason play in St. Louis Cardinals history and tonight they highlighted the comeback game against Washington a year ago and the players were asked about it feature was put together interspersed with the highlights in no hit any bigger that was uh, off the bat of Pete Cosma last year's postseason average this year at 218 Postseason experience for the Cardinals, no doubt about that. They'll have the edge over most teams they face. You that could be a factor. And you wonder if Pete Cosman in particular has another run in him. John Mabry was talking about him a year ago at this time. Really not much different than where he is now with the season he had last year. I mean, kind of had his struggling moments at the plate and then all of a sudden just got red hot late in September and then carried it into October. Could it happen again? Or is there somebody else that you're really not expecting to jump to the forefront and be that star in postseason play? No one expected that from David Freeze in 2011. And there's some are great and, and there's somebody on this Cardinal team who we don't expect. That's why we can't name them who might do that. Could, could it be Carlos Martinez? Who could become Mr. October this year? I could see that happening. I think now more than ever, Rick, because of the expansion in playoffs, a swing and a miss by Cosma, you ride the hot hand. So whether it's Carlos Martinez or Michael Walker, Pete Cosma, whomever, ride that hot hand. Follow every pitch this postseason live with MLB.com at bat number one mobile app for live baseball. Text at bat to 31826. Visit cardinals.com, MLB.tv, where baseball is everywhere. Daryl Porter was a World Series hero for the Cardinals, didn't have his best offensive season, yet did it. David Eckstein, MVP of the World Series. Jeff Supon was a league championship series MVP. We saw Martinez in the Cardinals bullpen. could see that scenario coming to pass. A swing and a miss by Michael Walker. One ball and two strikes. One out, nobody on. We may be locked in for a pitcher's duel here tonight. A breaking ball and a strikeout of Walker. That's number three tonight for Gio Gonzalez. Since that famous game five, the Cardinals have played very well against the Washington Nationals in regular season play. Davey Johnson, as you noted earlier, Rick, this is it for him. And remember what he said in spring training, World Series or bust. Team did not hit very well for the better part of this season. They came on late, but a little too late. Matt Carpenter flied out to left field, first time up, one ball, one strike. 
This team still has a lot of very good pieces. And the future is still bright for them. When they look forward with Gonzalez and Strasburg and Zimmerman and this Zimmerman playing third base, you've got Young Star and Harper, Big Bat and Worth. Three and one. I mean, just look at this lineup. They're trotting out these first two games, and on paper, you say Washington may have the advantage. And then you look at the pitching they're throwing in these three games, and you think they may have the advantage. Carpenter lifts it out to deep left center field. Harper is on the move. He won't get it. What do you know? It's another double for Matt Carpenter. Matt Carpenter, you think about doubles and RBIs. He is getting into rare territory in Cardinals history. And we know he's the all-time leader now among left-handed batters in St. Louis history, passing Stan the man in doubles. And the all-time record was set back in 1936 by Joe Medwick. He had 64. Robinson was robbed his first time up by Harper. Carpenter one step closer to a 200 hit season as well. That double hit number 198 for Matt. And that's a pretty good benchmark. 200 hits is very important to a player if you can reach that level. That means you've had a good year offensively and you've played a lot and you've been durable. 55 doubles. This year for Carpenter. Two outs, runner at second. 2 0 pitch to Robinson. Robinson up the middle. That's a base hit. Here comes Carpenter. The Cardinals come through again with two outs. This time, Shane Robinson. One to nothing, St. Louis. Two out double by Carpenter. Then Shane Robinson takes advantage of an opportunity. As you mentioned, another two out hit for St. Louis. They have been terrific in the clutch. Here's Beltron, who nearly homered his first time up. Matt Carpenter now has scored 125 runs. 125. And again with two outs, the Cardinals make Washington pay. Mr. Shannon has returned, and what did Mr. Shannon always say when somebody would get a run? There's your run, big boy. Do the rest. That's all you need, Mr. Walker. Nice to have him back on our pregame show again today. One and two on Beltron. Two outs, runner at first. That's Shane Robinson. Beltron with a double off the top of the wall at left center. Carlos hits it off the end of the bat. 
Jason Worth is there, makes the catch. Shane Robinson filling in for Holiday, picks up RBI number 15. The Cardinals pick up the lead. cream tomorrow you'll receive a dozen of their original glazed donuts for only three dollars 99 cents and stop by one of the four st louis area crispy creams for this sensational deal you know what tomorrow is mr horton it's wednesday i knew that wednesday home games in our booth oh yeah pretty important i know where you're going And what we're talking about is good folks from Ted Drews, longtime sponsor. Span flies out to Robinson. The only problem is it's a day game tomorrow, so I'm a little concerned. So if anybody is watching from Ted Drews, you're invited to come on down. Longtime sponsor of Cardinal Baseball or of Dan McLaughlin's Palette? Both. Both. Okay. Just clarifying. There's nothing wrong with that. Ryan Zimmerman struck out on a changeup, looking his first time up. That pitch misses in. You think the uh, breaking ball has improved as we've gone along here this year with Michael Walker? Uh, I do not. I think it's gotten worse. I don't think he's even using it much. That's the first breaking ball I've seen him throw tonight for Zimmerman there. And I think he lost the feel for it a couple of starts ago. And really in spring training, the word was he had a plus curveball. But we have not really seen that. And I gotta say, a lot of starts, he doesn't really even seem to need it much. I mean, he shows it, but it's just been kind of rolling. Much more comfortable with the changeup selection as an off-speed pitch and he threw another good one there. Watching intently. Not casual observers are they? Not at all. One and two the count on Zimmerman. Yachty sets up outside hits his spot but high. A pitch at 96. Two balls and two strikes from Michael Walker now on Ryan Zimmerman. As you know, Zimmerman, the best hitter ever at the University of Virginia. Right down the middle. And Zimmerman is 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Oh, you went to Virginia. I you, forgot about that. You said that with a lot of glee. He's 0 for 2 tonight. Both times caught looking. 
However, Zimmerman is now in Washington Nationals history. Statistically, one of their greatest hitters ever. Short history, albeit brief, but still very good career. And that's how good their lineup is that he's batting second in the lineup now. Davey Johnson going with kind of that power look. Where you've got a guy with some pop in that two hole and Worth, Harper, Desmond. You mentioned all over 20 home runs, then LaRoche over 20 as well. It's a powerful lineup. And a fly ball lifted to right over to get it. Beltron. Walker Sharp. Midwest. Let's go to our studio. Pat Paris standing by with a Bomberito sports update. Here is Matt Adams. Looks at a breaking ball and a strike. Adams is grounded out. He's 0 for 1. Cardinals lead it. Two out RBI base hit by Shane Robinson last inning. You mentioned, Dan, what Mike Aldretti had told me about September for some of the bench players, some of the guys that weren't playing a whole lot. You certainly couldn't put Adams in that category now. But for Shane Robinson and for Colton Wong and Brock Peterson he said just have a moment Adrian Chambers have it have have one moment where you win a game for us you don't have to hit 350 in September and, and even if you're struggling a bit just have that one game where you make a difference Harper is over sliding and out of play BJC healthcare difference maker and there's a couple of them since Craig went out on September 4th. At night, the Great America Ballpark, it's been Carpenter and Adams, the two Mats, along with Matt Holiday. Really, those three in September have been outstanding. And the power has been picked up by Matt Adams with seven home runs and 14 RBIs. And we mentioned it a number of times, a lot of his home runs have been late in games, too, with meaning. One two pitch. Adams goes the other way, and that's a base hit. No stop at first base. No need to run on Bryce Harper. And Matt Adams is one for two tonight. How about the compliment that he's in the four hole tonight against a left handed starter in Gonzalez. I could have seen him move down maybe put David Freeze there put Molina fifth. But Mike Matheny sticking with him. He sticks with that pitch and drives it the other way. Here's Yanni Molina grounded out to short. 0 for 1.
and a chance to MC a great function here tonight at the ballpark with Bill DeWitt, GM John Mosaloc, who is for Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Eastern Missouri. And the recruitment of Bigs waiting list to help out young boys for a big a mentor is over 2,000 here in the St. Louis area, and we signed up over 100 with the event we had here tonight. And I would encourage anybody to sign up, become a big. Doesn't take a lot of time. And it has such a meaningful, lasting relationship with a young man that needs it. Many of these kids don't have fathers, so big brothers, big sisters of eastern Missouri. Find out more at their website. Outstanding. That's bbbsemo.org. So really neat event over 100 signed up more coming in and uh, quite successful. You saw Adams running on that pitch Yachty fouled it back. Just missed on the inside corner. Three and two. Run him again. Hit and run. Didn't work. One of the reasons you have it is to try to stay out of a double play. You got to believe Yachty's not going to strike out. There he goes. And Yachty shoots it into right center field. Adams. Hustle. Rebelin. Big man get going. Here he comes all the way in. Adams scores. Yachty has an RBI double. Two to nothing St. Louis. Just chug it on in, huh? Big man was moving. Running on the pitch. Gonzalez has to come into Molina. There goes Adams. He sees it's in the gap. I don't think Mr. Okendo had a chance in the world of slowing him down there. Just wave him home. I'm not sure he could have stopped. <laughs> Here's Freeze. He bounces it to the right side. Productive out. Moving up on the play. Molina to third. In steps John Jay and a chance to add to this Cardinals lead. Bacon Habanero Ranch Quarter Pounder is topped with white cheddar, thick cut applewood, smoked bacon, tomato, leaf lettuce, and a spicy, cool Habanero Ranch sauce. All on a bakery style bun. It's mouthwatering for a reason. It's only at McDonald's. Ooh, nice play by Ramos to keep that in front. Two balls and no strikes. Trying to do the calculations, Dan, to follow up your, on your comment about stopping Matt Adams. We know that force equals mass times acceleration. We saw him accelerate. We know his mass. We know the force. I think you're right. <laughs> you're not stopping that train. Escape waving. <laughs> I like it, though. They start the runner. It pays off. 2-1 pitch. Jay fouls it back. In the dirt. Count runs full here on John Jay. Cosma is on deck. A 3 2 2 John Jay. We'll do it again.
Jay shoots it the other way, slicing a foul. Three two pitch. Out of play. Ninth pitch of the at bat, the three two. Ground ball slowly hit right side. Play at the plate. Throw is wide. Out at the plate. Ramos got the tag on Yachty. I think worth the gamble for Yachty to take off here because the ball wasn't hit that hard. Ends up being a pretty close play and called out. I think it's a good call. But just barely out. When this ball was kind of chopped a bit, I think Yachty made the decision just go on contact at that point. And just how close is it? That close. And Cosma. It's a foul out of play for strike one. Think about what you have to do defensively, Dan, to make that play. You're forcing him, number one, to catch it. Number two, to get the ball out of his glove with a good transition. Then make a good throw. Then the catcher has to catch it, and then he has to apply a good tag. Here's about five things that have to happen right. And you're forcing them and putting some pressure on the defense to make that happen. I know it, it looks simple, but it's not. Even in the transition, he double clutches just a bit, then Yachty's safe. The catcher turns maybe a little slowly to make the tag Yachty safe worth the gamble in my mind I think it's also worth the gamble no disrespect to Pete Cosma but knowing who's coming up in this lineup and there's no doubting Pete Cosma has been really struggling that has to go into the thought process when you're taking your lead off of any base what is the situation who's up who's up next what's the score they've got Jay picked off He's in a rundown. This is not how you'd want to draw it up. Finally, he's tagged out by the left fielder. That was fun. We used to do that when we were kids.
Toyota Cardinals Live, noon with the pregame show. Well, this is how the uh, put out went for John Jay in that rundown. One, three, six, three, five, one, six. Area code. <laughs> Here's Bryce Harper to start the fifth. Now, you, you grew up in St. Louis. And as a kid, you played baseball. You played in college. Outstanding player at Vianney High School. The Griffins. Is that what you were? You said I was the outstanding player. Well, yes, we were the Griffins. No, well, that's how you have it written here. Uh, outstanding <laughs> player. But, but when you were a kid, you played it. You, play, you called it hot box, right? Absolutely. And you would play that for hours. Hours. Just what John Jay was in. Yes. And you just see, you just pretend you were in a rundown and you could. Loved it. Back and forth. We called that pepper in New York for some reason. We did not call it hot box. When people called, that's a Midwest thing, I guess. Well, in college, we did play a lot of pepper. And Pepper was where you hit the ball, too, right? Right. So Pepper was, you could get as many guys as you wanted. As Harper flies out to center, and here is Des, uh, Ian Desmond. So you had one guy, and basically it was about learning bat control. So one guy had had the bat, and you're throwing it to him, and you would only be, let's say, 10, 15 yards away, and you're trying to go up and down the line, and it really did teach you hand-eye coordination, bat control. I, You never see kids do it anymore, ever. You don't see professionals do it but you used to see that at the minor league level and even at the big league level up until 30 years ago exactly hot box pepper flip did you ever play flip we should do that with our cards <laughs> I'm not talking that game I'm talking where you hold your glove open faced and you're just flipping it back and forth oh, sure yeah we circle. did that yep all the time that is still a favorite in all Latin American countries when you see games in Puerto Rico and Dominican they're always playing flip sometimes the pitchers you'll see them do that yep what's on tap is brought to you by Budweiser chance for Jordan Zimmerman to pick up win number 20 big start for him another guy that has come back quite well from Tommy John and it's our Budweiser what's on tap Jordan Zimmerman Michael Walker has struck out seven on the night And when you're a guy like me that didn't have any talent but somehow found his way on a team, you played a lot of pepper. Because that's the only type of, you know, action you're going to get. So you might as well get some action. Do something. If you're going to hit the ball 10 feet, act like that's really what you meant to do. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Practice that, it. No doubt. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> somehow I think you're underselling yourself, Danny. It paid for an education. Uh, education. So there you go. Quite happy. Fifty four pitches for Waka. So he's been excellent and economic. Seventeen pitch second inning. Oh, almost held on to by Yachty. Lightning in the area. We're going on for about two innings or so here around the ballpark. The 2 2 to LaRoche. Hit out of play. Here's a ground ball. Oh, right under Carpenter and into right field. And the Nationals have their first base runner of the night. I wonder 
as that ball hit the lip right in front of Carpenter. Just stayed low a bit. Talked about the outfield grass being a little fast. Didn't hop up as he thought it would. No excuses with feeling a ground ball. The rule of thumb is you start with your glove low and it's much easier to come up than it is to start with it up and go down. That's a good thing for young kids to think about on ground balls. Always start with your glove as close to the ground as possible. Coming up is a natural reflex and it's easier to do and it's towards your body. But once you have the glove up and you've got to reach down, you have no chance. 1 0 pitch fouled back by Wilson Ramos. Look at this in the season he's put together being their everyday catcher 15 home runs 56 RBIs. Not too shabby and he's also hit 281. Rounded out to short his first time up. Here's a 1 1. Strike two. One two pitch. We'll do it again. People are uh, tweeting at me Rick saying don't forget about the name of uh, you play that game pickle. People called it pickle too. That's what we called it. That's what we called it in the East Coast. See the value of Twitter comes through again. Line drive into right, and there is Carlos Beltran. Been a lot of years, Dan. Can't remember every You're a young man. Be quiet. Done uh, this season. Gio Gonzalez, you see him here tonight. R.A. Dickey won the Cy Young last year, then traded away to Toronto, 500 year. David Price, 8-8. Eight eight. Weaver has been dealing with issues with his arm, and he is 10-8. and eight. So the 20 game winners have not fared nearly as well the following season. And the only 20 game winner this far is Max Scherzer. And as we told you earlier, Jordan Zimmerman a chance to do it again tomorrow. Become a 20 game winner. Cosma on the first pitch pops it up into shallow right. Worth calling off his second baseman and makes the play. Hook. 
postseason tickets are available at cardinals.com slash tickets. And if you're wanting to get really good seats for the postseason, one of the best ways to do it, put down a deposit, become a season ticket holder for 2014. Here's Michael Walker. Nice round of applause for Michael. Matt Carpenter is on deck. I love that little promo because I see Ozzy raise his fist in the air and I think go crazy folks. Part of the fabric of being a Cardinal fan. Ozzy was asked today at an event. There was an event at Boone Valley. Enterprise holding company had a bunch of folks out there and Ozzy was asked if he could still do a backflip. The answer was no. But Ozzy. I bet he could. Ozzy said when he's 56 now about that. They asked about not being a home run hitter and he said it's not how many it's when you hit them. <laughs> Isn't also, that the truth. Also good to see Bernie Federko Darren Pang out there a reminder that the Blues season right around the corner looking forward to the Blues and a lot of high expectations for the Blues this year. No doubt. Mentioned it when Ozzy was in the booth with us a couple of weeks ago to promote his event with the Gateway PGA. But for someone that is from St. Louis, grew up a Cardinal fan like myself, I think it's wonderful to see him back in the organization as Waka is called out on strikes. And that's four tonight for Gio Gonzalez. But it was unfortunate the situation with he and Tony LaRusso. Clearly, it's. It's not something that people don't know about. They didn't get along. Ozzy wasn't happy with the way that his career finished up here in town with Tony at the helm and stayed away from the organization. Tony's gone. And Mike Matheny, one of the first things that he did was reach out to those that have been a part of the years of winning and the tradition of St. Louis and welcomed them back and said, it's an open door. Come anytime you want. And Ozzy's been doing that the last two spring trainings and more visible at the ballpark, too. Yeah, Mike has done a great job with that. And, and Mike has started with the guy that you need to start with above all, and that's Red Shandy's. And he's always been a threat of the history of Car Cardinal baseball. Red Shandy's goes back to the teams of the 60s and as a manager and in the 70s and spans so many decades another local Midwest product and red is one of our favorite Hall of Fame. His coffee found a frozen drink just 50 cents mobile on the run where six is a serious number. The sixth inning rolls in Anthony Rendon Gio Gonzalez and Denard Span. Michael Walker has struck out seven.
Fastball taken a little bit high. Rendon struck out swinging. Back in the third. A liner that's caught by Cosma. One away. There have been some hard hit balls in this game against Waka. A couple of line drives to right field at Beltron. That one at Cosma, but the Cardinals have been positioned perfectly tonight. And so have a lot of Michael Waka pitches. That's part of it, isn't it? When he misses, he's not missing by much. Not missing in the middle of the plate. That's really one of the biggest misses of all when you miss in the middle of the plate. Line drive out to left. There is Shane Robinson. That ball was hit hard, and that ball was in the middle of the plate. But it's also the pitcher, so you expect to get away with that. Top of the lineup and Denard Span. Tries to get down the bunt that is rolling, rolling, rolling. Get foul and it will. The fans booing Denard Span. You wonder if there's anything coming from the Cardinal dugout, too. In this particular situation that Michael Walker finds himself bunting is generally regarded as taboo. Mm. Not a hard and fast rule open to interpretation and the fans gave their interpretation. Our fans don't miss much do they? How about that they jumped right on. Oh it's rare if you get booed. On a hop to second. Carpenter is there. Now he's going to get cheered loudly. You watch this. With in the regular season. 95 33 percent. And you and I agree 95 probably gets yeah. you the central. And I'm a little surprised nearly. Nine percent. Of our. Twitter. Voters believe the Cardinals are going to go 0 and 5 the rest of the way. A little surprised. But it's First a free, free country. Popped up on the infield. Calling for it. Zimmerman. 
Ryan Zimmerman, by the way, will lead it off in the seventh for Washington. Robinson got the Cardinals on the board with a base hit back in the third. Molina, they started the runner. Matt Adams back in the fourth, scored from first. Yachty had the RBI double. Beltron nearly homered back in the first. It's a two run lead for the Cardinals. One and two, the count on Beltron. A changeup. Swung on and missed. Two away, and that's five strikeouts. Both pitchers showing good command in this game. Off speed pitch down in the zone. Pulled the string on it. No walks for Gonzalez. Waka through six innings of work, Dan. Not only does he have just 70 pitches thrown, but he's only thrown 16 pitches out of the strike zone wow. in six innings. That's that's about two and a half pitches an inning that aren't strikes. That's crazy good. A 2 0 pitch to Adams. 2 and 1. Adams scored from first on that double by Yachty back in the fourth. Gio Gonzalez, this will be pitch number 90. He's been very effective here tonight as well. And he seems to be getting better as we go along. He does, I agree. The walks I mentioned, just five hits. And his problem tonight is that the hits came in bunches twice. A double, then a single in the third, a single, then a double in the fourth. A 3-2 pitch. Gets Adams to reach. And a grounder to second. Coming up, Walker will face Zimmerman, Worth, and Harper in the seventh.
post-game shows after every game. So watch the game, then turn over to Fox Sports Midwest, and we'll have long and extensive post-game coverage. You'll be a part of that. You've done that a number of years now, huh? Love doing that. The electricity and the everything about the ball game becomes amplified every out and postseason is just so much fun and of course enjoy always working with Al and Pat Paris post game shows are kind of a fun way to break down the things that kind of we've been seeing all year long and what are they doing differently what trends do we see it's just fun to do can't wait to watch it from my couch well a lot of fans will be involved you can come on out to where we'll be yeah, and I'm good I really am. Well, I've had six months of you. I'm glad you'll be watching. I'll <laughs> just text me. I promise she'll text me during every post game. And I'm good there too. <laughs> I guess I'll have to go to Twitter. I'll see you in March. Danny Mac TV. Oh yeah. At Danny Mac TV, I'm all over it. 2-0 pitch to Zimmerman. Look at that. Nasty change up. That's the command we're talking about. That you can throw it two and two and oh. One and oh, three and one counts where the hitter has an advantage. You pull the string, makes all the difference. There it is again. Two and two, and Zimmerman having words with our home plate umpire, Paul Schreiber. Change up in the dirt. Three and two on Zimmerman. You see what he was doing there. He threw two change ups up a little bit. Get me over change ups. Then he threw the nasty swing and miss change up, hoping he'd bite. Now, if he'd have thrown a couple fastballs before that, he might have gotten him to swing at. Him. And a walk. First walk issued by Michael Walkup. Take a look at what he has done here tonight. He has struck out seven. Really has been the changeup that's been the difference. He's got some strikeouts with fastballs up in the zone. But the changeup has had the Nationals out in front. And that's what you want. You want him out in front, then you want him late on the fastball. And he's kind of been a step ahead of the Nationals all night long. Such an important inning here with Zimmerman, Worth, and Harper. The heart of this lineup, arguably their three best bats right here. Worth on the first pitch, pops it up. Carpenter is over near the line and makes the catch. Back to the bag goes Zimmerman. One away. Bryce Harper is 0 for 2. Flyed out twice to center field. His speed, tough to double up, has to hit it awfully hard. Agreed. Just thinking the same thing. More of a hitting lane now on the right side with Adams holding it first. And the first pitch is taken in the dirt for a ball. One out runner at first. One ball. One strike on Bryce Harper. Crowd tonight of 38,940. 38,940. All intently watching what's happening here tonight. 1-1 one, one pitch. One and two on Harper. A lot of things happening, as you mentioned, and also a lot at stake in the next three innings. One 
One two pitch. Harper hits it out of play. One two pitch. Got him. Waves at him. He strikes out. That's eight tonight from Michael Walker. How about this from Bryce Harper two pitches ago right before Walker delivered. He looks change up. He thinks it's going to be a change up and he's late and fouls it off. Then he gets the change up doesn't step up. And his way out in front and that's exactly what we're talking about. Walker one step ahead of Bryce Harper. Here's Ian Desmond. That pitch taken low and outside. It had to be what he was doing, just giving himself a little bit more movement to make sure he could keep his hands back and step up to the particular pitch, thinking it's going to be an off-speed pitch, and fouled it off and then waved at the next one. Two and one. Michael Walker turned 22 on July 1st. 19th overall pick. Gets a ground ball. Carpenter is there. Walker is through seven. Cardinals with a lead of two to nothing. Here's Yadi or Molina in the home half of the seventh. Yadi, oh, nice play down at third. Ryan Zimmerman, what a play there. Takes a base hit away from Yadi or Molina. Take a look at the last play here by Zimmerman. Still not an easy throw for him dealing with that sore arm and shoulder that he's had. But still very, very good down at third. Here's David Freeze. Pitch taken low. Freeze chased a pitch, struck out back in the second inning, and grounded out to second. 
In the fourth, he is 0 for 2. Three and one on freeze. Cardinals picked up a run in the third. RBI base hit by Shane Robinson. Added another thanks to Yadier Molina in the fourth. As freeze loses the bat. Right by Jose Okendo. And freeze hits a ground ball backing up on it Zimmerman two away before you know it it'll be spring training and our Cardinal tours are available for you Cardinals in sunny Jupiter Florida the official Cardinal spring training package details visit Cardinals.com slash spring travel. John Jay at the plate. Jay came up with one out and a runner at third as he drops down a bunt. That's pushed foul. Back in the fourth inning. Wound up being a nine pitch at bat. Eventually grounded sharply to second. Yachty tried to score from third. And in doing so, he was thrown out. A bang bang play at the plate. That Jay was picked off. The Nationals will have LaRoche, Ramos, Rendon coming up in the eighth. Jay hits a fly ball down the left field line. Harper giving chase near the wall, and it's out of play. One ball and two strikes. Ground ball up the middle, base hit. Under the glove of Gonzalez and into center field. Three left handers in the Cardinals lineup now with hits off of Gonzalez. Carpenter doubled in the third. Adams singled and scored in the fourth. Now John Jay with a two out hit. One pitch to Pete Cosma. Take it low. One ball, one strike. Michael Waka is on deck. One one pitch to Cosma. Foul back.
buzz in the air here at the ballpark. Magic number stands at four for St. Louis. One two pitch to Pete. Jammed a foul back. Michael Walker has struck out eight here tonight. One two pitch taken high. And for Walker who stands on deck. Three times this season he has struck out seven. And Cosma is swinging a miss. Eighth inning. Rolls in when we come back to Bush Stadium here in St. Louis. Baseball. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds. And by four, the official cars and trucks of the St. Louis Cardinals. The banks of the Mississippi on a gorgeous night for baseball. Cardinals have a lead of two runs. Michael Walker pitching into the eighth. He has struck out eight. Adam LaRoche leads it off, followed by Wilson Ramos and then Anthony Rendon. LaRoche has struck out and reached on an air. There's strike one to start the inning. Ryan Zimmerman had words with our home plate umpire an inning ago. Walker works quickly. LaRoche trying to slow him down a bit. 0 1 pitch taken high. The 22 year old out of Texas A&M Michael Walker. That catches the corner for strike two. One ball and two strikes. On LaRoche. Just missed outside and it's two and two. Trying to get him to chase with that changeup, which has been such a good pitch in his young career and certainly here tonight. Takes a deep breath. Three balls, two strikes. The check swing did not go. The second walk issued by Walker tonight.
brings in the catcher Wilson Ramos who is grounded out sharply to short also lined out to right into the glove of Carlos Beltran. Pitch count still low for Waka. He earned that in the early going with some short innings and a lot of strikes. I like what Yachty is doing here. Maybe just slow him down a little bit. Catch his breath. Regroup. Talk about the situation. If you're wondering, Wilson Ramos is grounded into 10 double plays this year. There's Carlos Martinez, another highly touted prospect for St. Louis, the hard throwing right hander getting loose. His role is growing by the day. Agreed. Do you mean Waka or Martinez? Good point. All one on Ramos. Waka has not been pitching behind much tonight at all. Top of the sixth, the Pirates have a lead. Mets leading in the bottom of the ninth over Cincinnati. 1-0 pitch in the dirt, 2-0. Michael Waka came into this season rated as the sixth best prospect in the Cardinals organization by Baseball America. By the time spring training was over, he nearly made the club. Ground ball, this could be two. Out at second. Out at first, it's another play. That sure helps. Taylor made all kinds of time. Waka does his job. Anthony Rendon, two outs, nobody on here at the top of the eighth. Two to nothing, St. Louis. This will be pitch number 96 from Walkup, and it's taken high. Walkup, again to remind fans, the compensatory pick for the loss of Albert Pools. made his professional debut a little over a year ago in the Gulf Coast League and he had ascended to double A Springfield by mid August that is strike two one and two the count thirty eight thousand they come alive here at the stadium Fly ball hit out to deep left. Robinson is over. Scott! He's got it. Waka is through eight. What a catch by Robinson down in the corner.
Michael Walker just introduced for his plate appearance as Yadier Molina has our Nissan drive of the game. This RBI double to score Matt Adams from first base. The Cardinals have a lead of two to nothing. Home half of the eighth. Walker at the plate. And this is Drew Storen, who is part of that historic comeback in Game 5 of the Division Series for St. Louis. Much of that done against Storen. Our Chevy called to the pen. The Washington Nationals looking ahead to the ninth will have Storen spot, Span, and Zimmerman. You come to the ballpark. Spring training, middle of the summer. On a beautiful evening in late September in St. Louis, you never know what magic you may see. The one two. I just assume let him make it out, get him on the bench. I think he's amped up enough that he can. <laughs> have I would think so. Energy to go back out there either way. What a night for Michael Walk. One two pitch. He'll have a seat. Carpenter scored back in the third inning. He'll dig in with 198 hits. In this 2013 campaign, the Mets defeat the Reds. Shane Robinson last night and again tonight has had a couple of plays that I'm not sure anybody else would make out in left field. Played very well defensively. 1 0 pitch to Carpenter. Fights it off. Little blue bat to left. And this is Harper. Two down. This copyrighted telecast is presented by the authority of the St. Louis Cardinals and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the St. Louis Cardinals. Here is Robinson. RBI back in the third, strike one. So you have a pitcher that's excited about the moment. You have 38,940 people who are excited about the moment, but you've also got teammates that defensively are on edge. Excited, ready, perhaps a bit nervous. Solitude of Michael Walker right now does not fit the way everybody's behind him. It's sharply towards short. Look what I found. Ian Desmond, fine play. We head to the ninth. We could be moments away from history.
game edition. Missouri Lottery Cardinal 5. Pat Paris and Al Raboski are at Lumiere Place. What a night for Michael Waka. They'll break down his stellar performance. We'll get Cardinal reaction straight from the clubhouse. Plus, Mike Matheny post game news conference. Dan Rick special night for Michael Waka. Steve Lombardozzi. One of three switch hitters at Davy Johnson's disposal. And the first pitch is taken high for a ball. And no one is sitting. Crowd of 38,940. And in 20 years, there may be 200,000 that say they're at this game. 2 0. Oh, pitch number 102. On its way from Waka. Foul back. And strike one. Lombardozzi here. Then Denard Span And Ryan Zimmerman. The 2 1 pitch. Round ball left side. Backhanded by Cosma. Yeah! It's not often here in St. Louis the fans boo, whether it be the opposing team, certainly not the home team, but back in the sixth, Denard Spann tried to drop down a bunt, and he heard it from this big, big crowd here tonight. Strike one on Spann. Bud Smith, Jose Jimenez. Bob Forsh, Bob Gibson. 0 1 pitch. Strike two. Ray Washburn, Paul Dean, Jess Haynes. Nothing and two on span. And time is called and granted late. And Walker was going with the changeup on that pitch. Just got a piece. Two strikes on Denard Span. What does he want to come with on one and two? The game's best catcher behind the plate will put down the sides. Two and two. That change up a little hard. Maybe he follows it up with that swing and miss change up here. The two two pitch. Pitch count at 109 for the young right hander Michael Walker. Just a bit high, and at times that has been a strike tonight. From 0 and 2 to a full count. 
Thinking change up here. Walker has struck out eight. He has walked two. The three two. is the no-hitter. So close. Right there. And right there. Seven. Listed at 6'6", six, six, and he was about an inch away from having a no-hitter. Or if only Ryan Zimmerman was just about two steps slower. Mm. What a night here at the ballpark. Now you have to focus on getting worth to get the win. Well, all this time, the excitement of Michael Waka, the gem he was throwing, it's still a close game. It always has been. And the Nationals with a couple of walks in the seventh and eighth inning were still one swing from tying this game, which is exactly where they are right now. What a game this has been. Terrific. The 2 1 pitch, runner goes, and the pitch is taken just outside by Worth. Fielder's indifference for Ryan Zimmerman. Strike to Worth, and it's three and two. You've got to be careful here, though. If you lose Worth, I think we'll see Segrist. 
They're on their feet again. It's Sharpley, Rosenthal, a race to the bag, Adams will take it. The Cardinals win it. They pour out for the dugout. Walker has the win. A shutout for the Cardinals here tonight as they take in the first two against Washington. Two nothing, our final. Michael Walker, a foot away from joining some of the Cardinal greats with a no-hitter here tonight. Settles with a one-hitter. The Cardinals with a big victory. Number 93, they've beaten the Nationals twice in a row. And they are playing very, very good baseball here in September. We're going to keep it right here and try to go to Jim Hayes live with Michael Walker as the Cardinals head back into the clubhouse. And with that, it is win number 93. The Cardinals 93 and 65. Walker picks up the win. He's now 4-1. and one. Michael Walker, no surprise, our Budweiser player of the game. One out away from a no-hitter for the 22-year-old out of Texas A&M, Michael Walker. What a night for him. And there is Michael downstairs with Jim Hayes, and we're waiting for Jim to get situated with the Cardinal Hurler. And Jim, take it away with Michael Walker. Yeah, as you guys mentioned, really just inches away from a no hitter. What are the emotions right now for you? I mean, unbelievable. You know, just just great feeling going out there. You know, whole intentions of the night was just coming out here and trying to get a win for our team. Uh, you know, all these all these games right now are important. So, I mean, just just getting the win is unbelievable. But going uh, that mean no no hit. I mean, it, it was just unbelievable. Take us through the. Uh, the hit by Zimmerman just barely out of your grasp. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it nicked off my glove a little bit. I mean, Cosmo made made a great effort on the play and patch over at first. I mean, it was it was just I guess it was meant to be. You know, <laughs> I guess I guess I wasn't meant to throw one tonight. What was the reaction on the uh, bench for you guys? No, it's all right. You can't let me. <laughs> Let's go. Catch your breath. What, what was going on in the dugout while you had the no hitter working? What, what was the reaction from your teammate? I mean, uh, you know, every time I came in, I was getting fist bumps. You know, just hey, just quick innings. Hey, you know, get us back in here quick. And, uh, you know, I was able to do it for, for the most part. So it was pretty nice. Had the changeup working, but uh, especially the fastball seemed to be effective for you tonight. Yeah, I was able to locate uh, the fastball and changeup pretty well all night. and. I was able to keep him off of those uh, pitches uh, for the whole night. And, uh, you know, Yachty is calling a heck of a game back there, and I don't think I shook off once. I mean, he unbelievable catcher, and the defense behind me was playing so well. That was the only reason I was able to go that long, no hit. So, I mean, you know, credit goes a lot to them as well. Great job tonight. Fun to watch you, and uh, go try off. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right, Michael Walker. Comes within an inch of a no hitter, but the Cardinals get the win two to nothing. Postgame show is coming up right here on Fox Sports Midwest.